This is the Reese XPT3 transmission, and we're going to use it. But first, I'm going to show it to you on the table, get a weigh in, and put it in this thing right here. Let's go. The XPT3 right here. This is a two gear transmission, as in you have a gear here, a gear here, and that does all your reduction. Very simple, clean design, and it's also lightweight. This transmission ready to go. Keep in mind, there is a spur gear inside of there. This is all 48 pitch gears, by the way. 2.35 ounces. Now, the only transmission I have that I can compare it to will be the too low. And here you see 4.15. Now, this too low actually has an over and under drive in it, set up with the uh, outputs and all that. That's where the Reese is just a simple single output. The way the axles are, the way uh, portal gears and all that stuff are, we got tons of overdrive right there at the axles in today's vehicles. So, um, with this right here being what it is, titanium output shaft, hardened steel gears, let's open it up. And this is it. Look at that. Simple and easy. You get your gear right here. This is kind of like a gear shaft mechanism right here, so it's all kind of one piece. There's a little pin right down in there. Simple, easy. Then you have your titanium shaft and output gear. Look at that right there. That's my little shim. Put that back up on here, and we are all set. Simple, easy, man. Um, keep it simple. And that's exactly what they did. You're probably wondering about the bolt pattern. Well, it takes two bolts, and the bolts are 42 millimeters apart, center to center. 42. Motor for this is a Holmes Hobbies Revolver Team Spec. This is a 2040 KV. Now, I do got to tell you the pinion gear is too large. I have smaller pinion gears on order. One of the tricks to making motors like this work and work well is proper gearing. So I've got much smaller pinion gears ordered. This is a 17 right here. So I've, I've seen guys get motors like this. They put them on and they just don't work right because they put these up motors on and think that they're going to get all kinds of speed, bashing, and jumping power. These are crawling motors. And you've got to have your gearing correct for these things to work correctly. This is going to be a little bit of a stretch for this. When I get the smaller gears in, I'll go back through all this and we're going to give this thing another crawl. But for right now, I'm going to put the cover on get this thing put right into that. And the transmission is in. Now keep in mind, you can fit everything from a Fusion um, Pro to this to any 540 motor you want. Even 550s if you have enough room for it and all that. Um, I think for this truck right here, the lightweight stuff, something like a little 380 size revolver would be perfect for it. But this right here is all set up, ready to go. Now, um, with the too low transmission, um, I had it turned around so the overdrive was running to the back to reduce the overall underdrive from the axial front and the TRX rear. So there is a massive amount of overdrive on this thing or underdrive, depending on how you want to say it. But you know what? We are ready to take this thing for a drive. Um, Proline crawler tires. This is an older build. I am not sure what the inserts are in here, but I think it's time to go. However, before we go, I want to just look at the amount of overdrive on this thing. Just got to see a little bit here. Let's just look at this. There is a lot of overdrive. Holy shimoly. <laughs> what is that, like 200%? <laughs> oh my god and there was one there is literally like 200 percent overdrive like two to one as we're starting the drive i want to show you guys i've got the upgrade rc dual card and joints in here so i've got super smooth steering with 200 percent overdrive okay let's get this going now with 200 percent overdrive that front is going to turn and just a lot. Now, the rear axle is the, the uh, TRX rear axle. So it locks and unlocks. As you can see right here. See that? There we go. So I can lock and unlock that rear axle, um, which will help it turn a little bit more. But I'm not so sure that it's going to be a necessary thing with all this overdrive. Because that front end is just eating like crazy. 
I haven't driven this truck in a while. And 200 percent overdrive. <laughs> oh, I'll probably do a full custom build with this transmission and put the two low back in it just because of the overdrive that this thing has. So, but I'll do a full custom build with this transmission. Look at that. That poor old body's catching it. <laughs> wow. Now this is possibly a little bit too much overdrive to be honest with you. Let's see here. Oh, it actually used that slider. Wow, it didn't go over either. Ooh, that was a test for the Maxwell Shaz here, wasn't it? Now, I'm kind of beating it up a little bit, but I know you guys kind of want to see what this transmission can take. So I'm kind of not babying it, if that makes any sense. Also a good test for the axle shafts. There's so much overdrive that it's actually just breaking traction really bad. Now we should be able to make a good pull up this. All right. Now one of the things about having an outrunner is you really gotta have it geared right. And that pinion gear is a little bit too much for it, to be honest with you. It needs to be geared down a little bit more to really make the outrunners work. And as far as overall steering goes, I'm limited by the chassis and the shocks. Nice. And we're gonna finish off with the crack of doom. All this overdrive should allow that front end to pull up so hard and so quick. Let's see here. Trying to get that back in to break loose, but it didn't. I need more gearing on the motor. Looking good. This is gonna be tough right here. All that underdrive in the back was sometimes too much. Now here it might be a good thing. Maybe, I don't know. Wow, I am kind of getting underneath that a little bit there. Jeez, that is tough. That was brutal. Well, if you guys needed a good torque test on this transmission, we just got it, huh? Wow. The transmission itself did great. I mean, I didn't notice any clickety McClickerson or anything out of it. The gearing is a little bit off because the pinion gear was too large to make this motor really work correctly. The 200% overdrive or underdrive, depending on what you want to look at it, um, that was also a little bit much. But as far as testing it for torque and durability, I think it passed with shining colors, shining colors, flying high to the sky with beautiful everything. <laughs>
Anyway, this transmission by Reefs is absolute awesome. Um, 48 pitch, it runs quiet, seems to be pretty darn strong. Guys, hope you enjoy the video. I'll link it up down below. Use those links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, and you guys have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.